guys, it's Sheila, your school nurse. I just wanted to send out a quick video before school starts to go over some of our new policies and procedures. We're so excited that everyone gets to be on campus Wednesday and we can't wait to see everyone. We want to make sure that you understand some of our new policies and know that we've been working diligently over the summer with multiple agencies to ensure that we have the safest campus possible. Please help us ensure this by making sure if your child feels ill that they don't come to school. Some of the symptoms of COVID include fever, cough, shortness of breath, headache, muscle aches, sore throat, congestion, loss of taste and smell, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If any of these symptoms are going on with your child, please be sure to keep them home for observation and follow up with your doctor if needed. Another way that we can ensure campus is safe is by making sure your kids are up to date on their vaccinations. Flu season is around the corner, and though I feel it'll be less of a season this year because of all of the measures that we're taking to stay safe, please make sure to get your flu shots. You can also give your kids a survey each morning and see how they're feeling. We'll be doing that here on campus as well. Also, taking their temperature in the morning before you come to school. We'll also be doing that as they arrive in Carline. We can't wait to see you guys, and we thank you for trusting us with your most prized possession. Please know that we're working diligently around the clock to be sure that we're able to take care of everybody and make sure that this campus stays as safe as possible. Hi guys, I wanted to discuss one of the policies that we're gonna be having this year on WA, and that's the masks. When you arrive on campus, please make sure to have your mask on before you exit your vehicle. Masks will be required in all of the common areas when you're walking through the hallways, on your way to and from lunch, go into the bathroom. Once you've gotten to your classroom and you're at your desk, which is going to be distanced from the other desks at least six feet, then you are able to take your mask off. If you do decide to get up from your desk, please be sure to put your mask back on, even if it's sharpening your pencil. When you put your mask on, I just wanna remind you, you don't wanna to touch the inside or the outside of your mask if possible, and definitely don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Loop the loop around your ear and bring it around to your other ear. Bring the mask down around your chin. And if you have a metal piece on the top, just form it to your nose and make sure that it fits snugly against the sides of your face and the bridge of your nose. Try not to touch your eyes, nose, and mouth, guys. It's very important. And prior to putting your mask on or off, make sure that you hand sanitize to keep yourself safe. When removing the mask, you can remove it from the loops, hold it by the loops, and put it in a bag. We'll be doing a couple of things differently in Carline this year. First of all, lower school and middle school will be on the school side Carline. High school will still be across the street. High school and lower school will start Carline at 7.30 a.m. and go until 8 a.m. And middle school will start at 8 a.m. and go until 8.30. This is to ensure that we keep lower school and middle school separate as they enter school. Please be sure that when you enter Carline, you don't let your student out until they're under the awning and have had their temperatures checked. All lower school and middle school temperatures will be checked in the car. If your child does not have a fever and the survey questions are answered adequately, they'll be able to come on campus with no problem. However, if your child is febrile or some of the survey questions are answered inadequately, we will have to send you home to follow up with your doctor. Pre-K-4 and kindergarten, after being checked under the awning, will drive around to the front of the school to let out. Please be sure that your kindergarten or pre-K-4 student who's in a car seat is able to get out of the car seat on their own or with your assistance. Our staff will try and maintain a safe distance from your student as they escort them to their class. High school students will be going up the outer stairwell and distancing six feet apart. Once they get into the building, an infrared iPad will check their temperature. If it's adequate and the survey questions are adequate, they'll head to class. However, if they test febrile, they'll head down to the clinic and we will double check them. Social distancing is a key element of staying safe during this time. At WA, we've made sure that we have social distancing of our students and staff so that we can keep our campus safe. We have distancing markers on the floor as well as one-way halls. We've staggered our lunch times, added more tables, and we have distancing at the tables at lunch. 
We have staggered arrival and dismissal times with multiple points of entry during arrival so that we can keep classes and kids away from one another and safe. We also have cohort classes and grades to stop kids from intermingling. We have plexiglass in the offices and on certain tables where kids work together regularly. And we've also excluded changing into your PE uniform as you can wear it throughout the day or you can choose to wear your school uniform so that kids aren't changing in the locker room. Each class will have a spray bottle with disinfectant and paper towels to be able to clean throughout the day. Lower school will be cleaning in the morning and afternoon as well as two more times throughout the day. And middle school and high school will be cleaning high-touched areas, desks and chairs after every class. We'll have two day porters on campus during the day to help us clean and sanitize, especially during lunch. And at night, a full staff will come on campus and clean, as well as spraying down the entire school surfaces with electrostatic sprayers. All of the students will have their own supplies this year and will not be sharing. Every student on campus will have their own iPad or laptop. We will not be using lockers or vending machines during this time. The water fountains will be turned off, so please encourage your student to bring their water bottle to school to fill up with the bottle fillers. We will have cups available if they forget. It's also very important to be sure to wash your mask every single night before wearing it to school the next day. With all of these measures in place, we'll stay safe. Hand washing is gonna be very important this year. We're going to ensure that students wash their hands in the beginning of the day, before and after they eat, after the restroom, and at the end of the day with soap and water. Hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol will also be included in the day. Students will have to hand sanitize walking into the class and out of the class all day long, as well as anytime their hands may need it. Please ensure that you go over with your student or your child how to wash their hands. 20 seconds is needed. When we wash our hands normally, we may forget to get the insides of our fingers, our thumbs, and our fingertips, as well as our wrist. Once you've done that, you're about 20 seconds in. Please go over this with your child at home before coming to school. If you or your child test positive for COVID-19, please contact the clinic and let us know. At that point, we will contact the Department of Health and be sure that the contact tracing is done through the Broward County Department of Health. You will be notified if you've been in close contact with someone who tests positive. In order to return to school, you must abide by the return to school policy. The symptom-based policy would be 10 days from the start of your symptoms and 72 hours symptom-free with a doctor's note to return. If you choose to test for COVID and go the test-based policy route, you have to be negative and also have a doctor's note to return. We're expecting a great year. We know that God is over our school and that we're all gonna work together in this to ensure the safety of everyone. We can't wait to see you guys. Go Lions, stay safe.